Hi everybody, it's Nikki. Um, <clears throat> back to do a very early morning video, and I know I'm a little scary, but I got my headgear on, <laughs> so I think we're good. Um, I'm doing an early morning video because I see so much of my calibration factor stuff in the morning. It's usually where it's the, the most helpful, um, but I'm usually just not quite ready to do videos in the morning with good reason. Um, but I figured, you know, sometimes you gotta just go with it. So here I am. Um, and I'm going to try to do an organized quick video because um, I got kids to get up to school. But this is what I'd like to say. Um, I am currently a 147 in manual mode. As I've said a million videos, I get into manual for my coffee routine because if not, I go too high in auto. Um, I'm a 147. I have 2.9 units on board and I've just had a cup of coffee. Um, so if you have diabetes, if you pump, yes, but even if you have diabetes, you know a 147 is a pretty decent number, right? Um, you know that 2.9 units on board, meaning I just did a, I did a bolus for my coffee this morning, which is 4.4, so it's going down, but you know that 2.9 units is still quite a bit of insulin to have on board, and insulin on board, you know, can have a tendency to push us down. That's the whole point of insulin. Um, and I also know for myself that coffee pushes me up, um, not for everybody, but let's just say it was a banana, right? Let's say it's something or a small bagel or whatever. Um, so something that's going to push me up. So that 147 is a pretty arbitrary number then because I don't know if I'm 147 and dropping because of insulin. Maybe I'm continuing to go down. I don't know if I'm a 147 and going up because of something I've just eaten. Um, in this case, it was coffee. Uh, I know you don't eat coffee, but I do. So anyway, um, so I don't, so I wouldn't know right now what to do. And I wouldn't know right now, um, which way I'm going. That's the whole point of this. Um, so I'm doing all these videos on calibration factor. Every one of them, I'm nervous. I kind of feel like, you know, I don't, what if I'm wrong? What if I'm wrong? But then I'm using it all the time. And I'm like, I, I'm learning a lot and I'm figuring out its limitations, but I'm also figuring out times that it's just really good. So I figured I would show you. I am a 147. I've said in other videos that my uh, stable number is a 5.5. Um, so the way it works is when I go below, below a 5.5, it means, no, this is limited too. Um, but below a 5.5 means that my trend is that I'm going down. Um, and above a 5.5, means that my trend is that I'm going up. Now, um, it's a scale, and I'd like to do a video. I'm thinking about doing a video about this today because this is important information. And there's times where if I don't know where I've been, then I can't really take that number as is. It means I have to test again in 15 minutes and to see if it's continuing to go up or continu continuing to go down. But that's another video. For right now, I'll tell you that, generally speaking, I'm probably moving in that direction if I'm above a 5.5, moving up from above a 5.5. Okay. This is going to be interesting because I tested my sugar downstairs and see already, already I've moved. So we'll see what happens. Okay. My SG, SG says 147. My BG on my rely on, which I love rely on. I want to write them a love letter. Um, is a 128. So I'm going to go in to my status. Go down to my sensor, go to my ISIG, which is a 15.55, divided by 15.55 is 8.23. So um, I can confirm that, you know, probably in the next 15 or 20 minutes, I can check it because there, because it is a flawed system too. It's not that it's flawed, it's that I don't have a manual to go to, so I don't necessarily understand all the ins and outs of it yet. I'm not even close, but I'm getting the gist of it. And what I understand from these numbers, a 147, a 128, and an 8.2, is that I am on the rise. Um, so even though that insulin's on, on board, that where I'm trending toward right now is going up. And I happen to know that that makes sense because I drank a cup of coffee very fast, which makes a difference to me. And I did that because I was beginning to go low. Um, and if I sip it too slow, I'll crash. And if I sip it really fast, I'll rise. <laughs> and that's why I hate diabetes. So I gotta go get kids ready because I don't hear a sound, which means they're still asleep. So onward and upward. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.